Right, uh, a lovely record made by the uh, doyen of uh, piano accompanists. Uh, it was uh, Gerald Moore. It says the uh, unashamed accompanist. That's the title of the record, a Columbia record. Gerald Moore, uh, you've heard uh, Gerald Moore on the, the John McCormack and several other 78 RPM records that I've uh, played uh, on this channel. He, he played uh, accompanying uh, just about every great uh, voice of the uh, for about 30 years that went on the record and concert. And uh, the the uh, I'll just read a bit of this at the beginning that kind of explains what the record's all about. I'm going to give you a small piece of this record, not a whole of it, just the, the opening thing. It's quite humorous and it's nice to hear this great man speaking. Uh, Gerald Moore in this recording talks about the art of accompanying with musical illustrations. The importance of the piano part in a song is shown. Uh, how it paints pictures, tells stories, evokes moods. And some of the problems uh, are discussed uh, with point and uh, wit. So uh, here we go, let's have a listen to the great man himself. I want to begin by playing you the accompaniment of an Italian song, Il Bacio, The Kiss. And I play this because this is what many people regard as a typical accompaniment, and it goes like this. so forth ad lib. But unfortunately, so many people, when they listen to a fine song by a fine composer, take it for granted that the accompaniment of that song means no more and contributes no more than that little tiddly bit I played just now. And the result is that they cut off their ears to the accompaniment altogether. Well, they miss an awful lot by doing that, because the composer of a great song uses the piano part to paint pictures. He uses the piano part to evoke a mood. And he sometimes makes his piano part reflect the very words that the singer is uttering. I want now to give you quite a lot of examples by Schubert, because Schubert was perhaps the first of the great songwriters really to make a duet between the voice and the piano. He promoted the accompaniment from a vague rumbling in the background or a distant tinkling to equal partnership with the voice. And you can say that all the great songwriters since Schubert's time have imitated Schubert in that one respect. They have made a duet between the voice and the piano. And an accompanist who sits down to play the accompaniment of any great song takes half the responsibility for the performance of it. Mind you, when I say the accompanist takes half the responsibility, I don't mean for a moment that the accompanist succeeds in marching off with half the fee. Uh, but we accompanists have minds above such mundane and sordid things as fees. All the same, it's a great regret to me that people, I'm convinced, do not listen properly when they listen to a song. They do not take in the piano part. But I have a much more personal reason for regretting this attitude towards the accompanist. And that is that I would like people to realize, uh, well, what extremely important people we accompanists are. Of course, I know what happens. You go to a concert and the most enchanting, elegant young lady walks on to sing. All the ladies look at her because they're interested in what she's wearing. And all the men look at her because, uh, well, all the men look at her and nobody looks at me and I can't blame them. But, you know, sometimes the people I follow onto the platform are quite an eyeful. I mean, they occupy a lot of space. They float in and they take their stand in the bend of the piano and you find on close examination sometimes that the bend of the piano seems to be made to measure. Nobody notices the accompanist at all. 
And if they do happen to look at him, well, he looks so slender and so shy and so modest. The people think he's just there to do what he's told, to obey orders, to follow the singer through thick and thin. Well, there's a great deal more to it than that. In these days, there is a real partnership between the singer and accompanist. And I want to try and show you how the accompanist contributes to that partnership. 